Held back by a glass barrier. It's only a matter of time until Godzilla breaks through. All right, here we go. Let's slow down time. Ma'am? All right, tase. Taser. Ma'am? Choking. What the hell? Yeah, ta taser. There. Okay, I think we got her. And she's arrested now. Look at there she is. And she's she's now walking herself to jail. <laughs> okay. That's great. I have been tased. I will now walk to jail. Like, okay. Are you did you buy a ticket to walk to jail? Wow, look at this. After a day of uh committing crimes, now she's just walking to jail. Okay. Building games, building games, building games. Jeez, it seems to be all that I'm into lately. Hello there again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Overcrowd, where today we're going to be building a big, bustling metro in a huge, busy town. If you're into games such as Planet Hospital or Planet Coaster, Austrie, Foundation, or any sort of building game, this definitely might be one for you, as we're building a very big building in a very small space, a metro that will connect our city and our uh, station to many different parts of the station and possibly the world. So welcome everybody. If you want to see more of this game at any time, make sure you show your support by letting me know that you want to see more. And of course, support those devs with those links over on the left side of the screen. You can see all those wonderful little links to help them out and to learn more about the game. This game coming out on June 6, 2019 for PC. So go ahead and grab that one on Steam if you want to. We're going to start a sandbox playthrough here today, but there is a tutorial and a campaign and even like a custom campaign too that you can build on your own. But we're going to try to see if we can build something in a very small space that's going to change the world. So, welcome, and without further ado, let's get started. And welcome back to everybody who's been a part of all of our other building series. It's been great to have you with me. So let's get started. Here we go. All right, everyone, we are here, and let me welcome you to Wrangler's Corner, where now we have a couple of streets here. Regent Street, and uh, looks like also... Park Lane is where we're going to be building our station off of. So over here, commuters will enter from street level and also subterranean level here. So two ways for our commuters to enter. Meanwhile, we have two train lines, the Bakerloo Line and the Elizabeth Line that runs south to north, and they are deep underground. So we'll have to build a station over the top and underneath in order to reach them and also to sell products and other things to our wonderful commuters. Let's get started then by building a nice little entryway to a larger platform area. We can build right off of this uh, area here. So let's go ahead and fatten this one up a little bit. We could probably build some turnstiles and such up top. If you've ever been to a uh, subterranean uh, metro before, then you'll know exactly kind of how everything is supposed to look and how it functions. I'm gonna build another section here. I got an idea, watch this. If we do this here and I build script floor, or rather, sculpt floor, script floor. <laughs> We're actually going to lower this down. So if I right click, boom, now we started making a lower half of everything. Kind of slick. So now we can start making our bottom section so we can connect uh, two platforms this way. This is going to look really nice and work very efficiently uh, between these two uh, platforms. So let's make sure we connect to them here and also over here too. So that way people can get onto them from the platform. And it uh, looks like we're good right about here. Excellent. And then we've got to connect over here probably for some other uh, utility-based buildings. So maybe we'll make this a staff-only area where the control room, maintenance bay, and a few other things can be as well. So uh, I guess people are really going to see the train come in here. So let's cut that off a little bit. No, 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 that'll be okay. Let's disconnect it here so that way uh, looks like it has to be permanent. But this will be a staff-only area up there. So let's reconnect that. And perfect. Okay, so now we've got an entryway to our station. We also need to connect with passengers over here. And this right there is like a building that's in the way, or a rock formation, or something like that. Area that we cannot build in, so it kind of blocks us from using that. So it's to simulate like the support beam of a bridge, or a monument, or something that we're not allowed to build around, under, or on top of. So let's go ahead. We can build around it, but we can't build like, uh, you know, like through it, that type of thing. Okay, this is our subterranean entrance, so let's try to uh, get a, uh, maybe we can actually build a, a station over here too. Let's try to make it at least three wide, uh, four in this case, for our turnstiles. So we'll fatten it up a little bit to make the curve over here. And we'll try to make it come to this side of the platform. So we can build one-sided platforms or two-sided platforms for people to enter or exit from either side. We've started with over four hundred, uh, over $500,000 in the bank. So half a million there in the bank for us to use. So that's going to be quite good. And uh, there we go. So now we can see everything kind of flow as quickly as possible. And uh, kind of see how everything's going to function. All right, now I think what I want to do here is make this area into where we'll put our utilities, our power room, our control room, maintenance bays, that type of thing for the uh, train staff to work with. So let's try to do something like that. 
tuck that in there and see we can kind of keep it a little bit away from the wall as you see here so that way it still kind of creates a wall there all right are we using all of our space looks like there's a little space here but I'm not gonna worry about it too much that's okay um, maybe we could try to squeeze something in here something along those lines all right every little bit will probably matter underneath okay so you can kind of see now where everything's going to function let's try to put down some of our first important structures so this one under infrastructure being the metro entrance so let's put that right there and we'll build another one right over right here well just a happy little entrance right over here we'll paint a little happy entrance all right now we have an area for people to enter and exit so uh, essentially if you were to get off of this train uh, we need an area or a way for people to get from this train over these tracks over here if they wanted to exit through uh, entrance D, otherwise known as the Park Street entrance or Park Lane. And then, of course, up here, too, they'll be able to get up there. Was that an airplane flying over? Oh, it was a little, little cloud. A happy little cloud. Let's go ahead and put some escalators down now. And I think we can just back this up right about here. So um, I've been in a few metros in my life, and I don't travel in one every day, so I'm probably not going to have anything accurate. So if you have any helpful tips or, uh, you know, know that something should be a little different, uh, feel free to chime in. Otherwise, I'm going to try to build a couple of escalators there. We should probably also have stairs just in case uh, they break down. But, of course, escalators, too, uh, can be uh, used as a stair if they're not moving. However, if somebody's doing maintenance on those and they're completely out of use, then we can try to put some uh, stairs here. And that will be uh, nice as well. So we can direct people uh, to... Oh, wow, actually, the nice thing about the escalators is that they're a little shorter, too. That's very helpful. Now, we can uh, make these directional, too, to say, uh, you know, uh, down only or up only, like exit uh, only or platform only. So that will make it a little easier to navigate the traffic. So let's try to make this one uh, exit. Oh, and actually, we won't be able to do that until we make the platform. So let's start at least one platform. Let's start this one up here. So that'll make it a little easier for us. Let's go ahead and buy our first little platform. And we should be able to connect that right here, I think. Um, let's see how this works. No space on platforms on both sides of the track. So we need to edit the floor to go to this side, too. Okay, so that's how we'll buy that one. So that should be just fine now. Perfect. So we can see the train running this way. I want it to go north, although it really shouldn't matter. And then we can modify the platform to be... Uh, used from this side here. So if I right click there, perfect. So now it, it is uh, loading only from the right side as it comes uh, from the south. So that should be kind of cool. All right, so now we've got to uh, allow people to come down to the platform. So platform one, uh, they should be able to come down to. And actually, to be honest, platform two, really anything to get down to the second area here. But we'll make the those changes when the time comes. So we'll allow for people to come up and down. We'll make those uh, entryways to the uh, train station over there, or the platform there, and then an exit there. We also need to put down some turnstiles, too, so we might want to uh, edit this a little bit to make it uh, a little bit more space for people coming in. So let's try to build a little bit more up top. Now, we can also put in restaurants, coffee shops, newspaper stands, that type of thing. So if we have a little extra space, or a lot of extra space in this case, it'll be perfect for our uh, guests. Now, one thing I should actually do is, you know what? Let's make this an exit because it's closer to the train. And let's make this an entrance because this will allow people to pass through uh, a turnstile system. Now, people have to go through a turnstile uh, whether or not they're enter they're going into or exiting a station, correct? So we'll need to possibly reform our line a little bit to uh, make it so that way people have to go through the uh, turnstiles. So we can actually delete some of our uh, flooring, too. So we've seen that before. I like laying those out one by one, but it's more efficient to do it that way. And, of course, boom. So now people can come this way. Now, the longer it takes them to get through the station, of course, the uh, more frustrated they'll be because it's difficult to navigate, it's not as convenient, and they, they might want to take the car. So we want to try to be as uh, accommodating to their needs as possible. So let's build some uh, turnstiles here for people to get in and out of. So let's go ahead and build. And we can make these either way, so I don't think it matters which direction you put them. So let's just go ahead and try to put... Let's try to put four of them down for now. And then we can wall everything else off with a... A uh, small little fence, which I think we might find under infrastructure. Yes. Okay, so then we can fence off the rest of the area. And in Japan, on the sides, they usually have like a, a little ticket booth here. And this is probably the same in Europe and such. So that way if these ticket, if these uh, automatic machines are not working or if 
uh, you have some sort of special pass, you can just walk by the station employees and they'll let you pass that way. Okay, let's go ahead and try to put down some ticket machines next. So under facilities, we need people to be able to buy their tickets for the train unless they have an automatic pass so that they purchase somewhere else. They'll just be able to walk right through without going to the ticket machines. So let's try to put these over here in the corner. A little away from the traffic, but not too far away from the actual turnstiles. All right, let's go ahead and put down a few little decorations too, maybe a level one map. Something over here, for example, uh, for some of the uh, people to look at while they're buying their tickets. And, oh wow, we got different levels of benches too. We can put those down there later. We'll go for decorations a little bit later. Let's get the uh, the uh, the main components, the, the guts, the real important parts of the station in. Let's go for a power station next. We can't run without power, so let's do that. Uh, utility station. Uh, we need to cordon that off though. If we go to um, infrastructure and click on utility room, that's what we should uh, need most. That's our most important building really as it has all of our power for uh, the doors and the machines and the station uh, functioning. Now I think honestly the tracks are powered by their own source but we need to power the station independently which is kind of weird in my opinion but that's fine. Let's go with the level 2 generator just to see what that looks like. Oh, that looks quite nice, actually. Let's go ahead and put that here. And let's try a level 1 fuel barrel. So I guess we're storing the fuel next to that. That seems like a fire hazard, but whatever. That'll provide us with everything I think we need in order to open the gates. So let's see what we've got. If we right-click on it, the only thing we need to do is configure direction of track signage. So the last thing is these little turnstiles here. So let's make a couple of entryways here. Actually, let's make these exits since they're right in front of the yeah, since they're right in front of the tr uh, the uh, little walkway there, the escalator that comes up. All right, very good. And actually, similar to a lot of places too, this is um, kind of uh, textured. So if you've ever been to a metro before, sometimes they're textured when you walk through there, and especially for people with visibility impairments, a lot of things are. Uh, it's all about the floor, so that way they, they know where they're standing, where they can go. It's very dangerous in these places, especially with large crowds, but can be made a lot safer with people independently navigating with that kind of stuff, so that's cool. All right, looks like we can have semiconductors, air purifiers, closed caption television, all sorts of security things, but those aren't an issue so far. So let's see if we can hire our first staff member to take care of our power. You cannot hire any staff until you open your station, so let's do that and open it up. Yay! So our first people are coming in over here. We'll get this second uh, one opened up a little bit later. We'll finish up things going that way. People are now coming into the station. That is fantastic. We now have staff. Let's hire somebody. Uh, let's see. Who do we have here? Um, I don't really know anybody's... Oh, actually, here here we go. Uh, refuse picking up people. Oh, this is a very this is a very good people person. That might be good. He's uh, got low repair level. Oh, this guy has has high repair level. Let's make this guy our repair man. George Phillips. Then you are hired, sir. And where are you? Oh, in rush hour. Oh boy, people are coming in. Your first commuters are trying to buy something they cannot afford. Your station loses reputation of goods are too expensive. All right, we all have to set prices, but first, let's make sure we get our uh, generator up and running. So let's have him go there. And platform ones. Uh, let's see, not enough power yet, so we are waiting for uh, George, or Phillips there. George Phillips, I think is his name, to uh, go ahead and do that. So somebody, I guess, couldn't afford a ticket. I mean, that's not something I can really control at the moment, because I haven't really done anything with that. But as we can see, people are coming through the turnstiles, and we'll be making their way down to the platform shortly. Mind the gap, folks. All right, rush hour's over. I guess six people showed up. Oh, and there's no benches here. This person's upset about that. Okay, let's try to take care of every little need as it comes up. I don't want to do too many benches really up here. Uh, let's see, a commuter has become lost in your station. Okay, so a lot of little things that'll happen I'm sure without maps and whatnot. Alright, let's see if we can have a station map or maybe an info kiosk. I guess we'll need some employees around. Okay, so this is not powered yet. Uh, platform 1, maybe it is powered now. Not enough power. Uh, but Phillips, are you... Sir, are you providing this with power? Let's go to this fuel thing here. We might need to buy a jerry can or something like that. Let's see what else there is. I uh, only did the tutorial which briefly touches on the power issue, so let's see what might else be there. Oh, the jerry cans. We, I think we have to put that in the tool room, which is kind of weird. That yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and do that. So now, we couldn't hire him beforehand, so we wouldn't have been able to have that set up and working without the buildings built, but that's fine. We'll learn as we go. And that'll make it a lot more fun. Because I'll make mistakes, and then we can correct them in the next episode, too, with you guys pointing out that, oh, hey, Section 326B has a uh, sh <laughs> inefficiency of 4%, that kind of thing. 
All right, let's put our uh, tool room here, and we'll put a small little uh, jerry can in here. So that should allow him to fuel that up. That's very strange to me that that's the way that works. Is that somebody's literally coming over here to pick up a jerry can to fuel that up. Your station reputation is getting low. Click on reports to see why. Well, it's because we're learning, really. And it's kind of my first time after the tutorial. Which was pretty brief, but very nice uh, details and such. Alright, so it looks like some people are making their way down to the station. And we should have power as soon as uh, Phillips here grabs that jerry can and fuels that thing up. There we go, we're learning. So let's see what else we can put down to help people uh, guide their way through. A level, level 1 map. We should probably put another map down here. So people can find their way through. Maybe we'll put three maps there. Looks like a few people are getting lost, so hopefully they find that. And Phillips, go ahead and fuel that up now, sir, if you wouldn't mind. Ah, there we go. Our little lawnmower is now working. All right, I guess that I guess that powers the entire metro line. The commuter has become... Oh, you're late in the station. Well, sir, I'm sorry about that. All these things will affect our reputation. We'll be off to uh, a slow start as we're learning and getting things down for the first time. And uh, the station... Uh, the power should be provided, correct? Uh, let's see. Base power rate zero. Uh, refuel generator. Uh, something's not right. Are you grabbing the jerry can and filling up from here, sir? This is in the tutorial. We do have a jerry can. So now if you could kindly refuel the generator, sir. Maybe we need more than one power generator. Let's build a few of these, then. So let's try to build a few of them. Alright, let's try that. Okay, I can't even tell if he's actually done that or not, but it looks like we have enough power now to bring the train in, so let's do that. Alright, sorry we're late, everybody. Sorry, my bad. Here comes our train now. Eight out of eight. Very good. Kind of weird, this whole power thing, but it is cool that you have your own utility room, but it'd be nice if it were used in the event of emergencies or something like that. All right, let's go ahead and continue to design the floor. Look at everybody making a rush for the train. Awesome. I've earned a bond. Remember, City Hall grants a bond for shifting commuters, which basically means the more effective we are, the more money they will give us. Look at the people just going for that train like crazy. That is awesome. All right, let's put down some benches here. Oh, kind of cool how it pushes people out of the way. So that way you don't have to wait for the area to clear out. Alright, we'll put a little area there for people to rest. We'll redesign things as we figure out more and more about how everything works. Oh, like for example, making this staff only uh, by painting it. That's just something I didn't do at the start. We'll try to... Uh, I wonder if I paint this as staff only. Oh, it actually pushes them out of there. That's helpful. Alright, let's do that. Ma'am, I'm just going to gently push you towards the exit, if you don't mind. Just going to make this staff only. Actually, I don't have to do all this. All I have to do is uh, make the initial entrance staff only. There we go. All right. So it looks like this is all the staff only zone. I didn't need to do all that. I don't know exactly how to get rid of that. If I press shift, does that do anything? Ah, we'll figure out the key for that later. I'll just make these two little blocks staff only soon. All right, let's bring in another train. So what's kind of tricky about this game is that it's not only just a builder game, but you also have to kind of do everything yourself. You have to call, like you have to uh, be accurate on your timing for clicking on the train, for example, to bring it in. And so you're kind of juggling while you're also spinning plates, while you're also trying to recite your ABCs in reverse. So it's quite a tricky game. There's a little bit more to it than just build station uh, and kind of sit back and watch. It's a little, little bit more to it than that. Go ahead and put a trash can here for Pip, everybody coming in. And let's hire another staff person to take care of trash. I think somebody just dedicated to trash is going to be a good thing. Plus, it doesn't look like, uh, what was his name? Gary or George or Gray or whatever he was. Can't work forever. Whatever his name be. All right, let's go with this guy. He's got the highest trash rating. Oh, Rose. Okay, Rose, you can go ahead and initi initiate trash pickup. Actually, we need a uh, thing for that now. In the tool room, we can have ourselves a... Uh, litter picker. So that thing allows them to pick up uh, trash and whatnot. So let's go ahead and put that over in the corner. Oh! Up there. Okay, good. Wow, look at all these people around the station. Note to self, uh, when you build a station, maybe don't build it so big or uh, at least have some more restaurants and things ready. But I wanted to see how everything worked. Remember, the staff is thirsty. They get thirsty, they'll lose perception or stamina. Okay, so we need to also build a staff break room is what it's telling us. So we'll do that as soon as we can. 
And we'll have uh, Rose here go and pick up that picker. And that will allow her to pick up trash and then drop it into the trash can there. Okay. So let's see. Yep, we're losing reputation left and right. That'll be a thing as we're learning for the first time. But it is cool to see this thing function. And uh, it's actually going quite nicely. And I think if we build the station longer, we can get different uh, types of trains. I think we can actually upgrade and get uh, different trains all the time. Oh, I didn't mean to, like, click again. I wanted to see if there were more train options. Oh, yeah, if I right-click. There we go. Oh, perfect. Uh, let's see. So how do we unlock different trains? Oh, we can actually do that. Oh, okay. Let's try that then. So unfortunately, I sent the train away, but we are going to get a better train now. So that's going to be cool. All right, Rose, time to patrol and eliminate tr uh, trash. Go ahead and execute uh, order 35219. All right, fantastic. Let's get another bin down. I'll go for the level 3 just because it kind of looks nice. I like how it looks. And it looks like we also need some light. Night has fallen. Every day your station closes at 11 p.m. and the computer uh, computers. The commuters will walk to an exit. You won't lose any reputation when they leave at night, even if they encounter hazards. Okay, fair enough. So it looks like the station's closed for the day. Oh, wow, they're just taking every <laughs> every exit that they can. Okay, hopefully we're, we're ready for a better tomorrow. Looks like uh, guests weren't coming in from over here. We'll have to make this a staff-only area. Kind of cool how it uh, allows you to shift. I think this was the way it was in Train Station Simulator as well, where you got time to build the station and then everybody would leave, which is nice because this becomes super crazy. So we might want to make this a staff-only area or disconnect it for the time being until I can figure out a little bit more. Oh, good, and we get a station report on the day. So it, the station's a little gloomy, according to everybody, which means that we need some more lighting, and uh, we'll get to that, too. And so that is with level 1 lighting or ornate, uh, ornate clock. Is there any more lighting? Now, this game is in early access, too, so there's a lot of things that are not uh, complete or that are not fully uh, you know, implemented yet. So I wouldn't really feel like it's lacking too much. There we go. If we just put a light... Oh, I see. It's lighting at the top. That's kind of cool how it's above the station. And how it makes that noise for whatever reason. It's very satisfying. Another thing we want to work on is airflow as well. We want to make sure all of our commuters are comfortable by not having too many... Um, let's go ahead and delete this so that way people don't wander over there until we're ready. All right, good. Yeah, so we want to connect uh, airflow to our station as well. So we'll want uh, things like uh, air conditioning systems and whatnot. Okay, it looks like Rose is going to clean up for the rest of the night. Let's get some things in that, that we need for day two. So off to a really good start. I like this. What do you think we could improve upon, by the way? What other things could we... Uh, what things strike you at the very start that we could do to make things a little bit better? Uh, what, do you, what, do you, what are your ideas and thoughts? I'd like to know from you down below. Oh, indicator boards. Those are helpful. So that would be a first good thing to build. Uh, must build in platform. Oh, like here? Oh, isn't that the indicator right there? I guess this tells you whether or not the train is late or coming or what the train is. That'll be helpful. A couple more decorations. Looks like the, um, the ticket machines went real well. Looks like those were uh, in use quite a bit. Let's try to build some more chairs here. This is now starting to turn into more of an airport. What is this, a gate or something, Raptor? What are you doing? Okay. Now, I wonder if we can move items. Oh, that's helpful. That is super helpful. So if we hold left-click on an item, we can move it and then rotate it if we want to. Let's put some level 2 bins down just to make them look different. Okay. Oh, remember the staff is unhappy? They will lose stamina or perception? Oh, of course, because we need to build a staff room. So we'll get to that shortly. So let's build a couple of trash cans. And let's build a staff room now for our wonderful, wonderful workers. Phillips here is a little uh, unmotivated. I understand, Phillips. I will get to your needs right away. Let's go ahead and help him out with a little bit of a break room. Let's build one up here. Let's give him a break, folks. Break him off a piece of the Kit Kat bar. Let's do it. What's your favorite candy, by the way? I could really go for some chocolate right now. Okay, configure your signage. There's no uh, route from D to platform one. Well, this is D over here, isn't it? Isn't this entrance D? Or which one? Which one? Uh, which entrance is which? It only says entrance. Entrance C. Yeah, entrance D. We It's not even open, is it? Yeah, it's still closed, so that doesn't matter. I haven't yet uh, figured that out or finished that, so that's okay. Okay, uh, let's build this staff room then, and we'll probably need a big one. We'll need a lot of great staff members in our team. The other things we can build are um, a utility room, which we built, the control room, and the tool room. Um, our other ones. So we've already built the utility room. We've already built the tool room. So control and staff are the only two remaining. So let's build a staff room here. 
put a little door on that one just across from the uh, utility room. There we go. And what can we put in the staff room? Let's see. Is there... Can we put seating in there? No. It looks like they need their own stuff. So let's see what we can put in there for them. Maybe a vending machine. Good morning. What delights us this fine day will bring you fuel for one thing every day at 6 a.m. Fuel barrels refilled at a small cost. The wheelie bins are also emptied for free. Unlocking bigger barrels or wheelie bins will save you money in the long run. Okay, so that's right. Uh, also, when these garbages get full, Rose, for example, needs to bring all that trash somewhere. And it has to go here into the utility room. So uh, we'll build that right there. That is the biggest trash bin I have ever seen. Is that supposed to be that size? That literally is like a seven foot... That, that's as tall as the door. How, how are we supposed to get that out? That is ridiculous. That's crazy. All right, let's work on some other stuff. Oh, also we can see heat maps in the game too. I think there's an option here for thermal imaging. Yes. So we can actually see how warm it gets with all these people and equipment running. It's going to get warm. So we need uh, airflow going on. Remember the staff is such bad shape they're losing, losing health. Well, that's not my problem. I'm, a, I'm a simply a corporation. The people must take care of themselves with our meager payment. I understand, Phillips. I'm working on it. All right, sir. Okay, oh, now I feel bad. <laughs> Hold on, I'm working on it, Phillips. Hold on. What do we got here? Watering can. Uh, level one mop. I'm not sure exactly what we can put into that room for him. Amenities. Oh, let's put in a staff sofa. There we go. It's under amenities. All right, let's put in a TV set. Phillips, I order you immediately to return to. Uh, well, actually, why don't you why don't you, uh, why don't you hit the couch? Let's get you a snack too. What do we got for vending machines? Water cooler, that'd be good. Uh, you have a full concourse bin. You should build a wheelie bin to empty it into. Yes, we do have one of those already. All right, there you go. Watch some TV, Phillips. Relax there. And let's get you a snack, too. Boy, he's that upset. Staff vending machine. There we go. He's that upset about... Uh, he must have watched the Game of Thrones ending. That must be what it is. All right, what do we got here? Uncomfy chair, TV set. Oh, medicine cabinet. Oh, what? All right, yeah, go ahead and get drugged up there, uh, Phillips. There you go. Perfect, that'll help out. And I guess a tea station. All right, ooh, a fleeing commuter. A commuter has become panicked in your station and is fleeing. What the hell? Uh, rodents, blood, bodies, and being punched make commuters afraid. And they'll, then they'll flee. Okay, well, that's interesting. So we'll probably have to build a control room for uh, monitoring uh, CCTV and uh, s security staff. We'll work on that. Let's get our first train here. That's another thing we got to watch. And look at that, our first train, our new train. Very, very big compared to our other one. So come on in, folks. Oh, my God, there's a rat. I knew it. And when they see that, oh, that lowers our rating. Okay, our ratting. It lowers our ratting. All right, let's see if we can put something down for that. Uh, utilities, rat poison. Kills all vermin fast, but remember, collect the bodies with a litter picker. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, I hope this doesn't hurt humans at all. Uh, where's that little rat there? Sir, it's not... He saw a rat. It's not that scary, sir. Oh, let's put down some rat poison. Just laying it down in the middle of the station. That's very interesting. All right. So it seems like in this game, it would be best to pause at nighttime, do all your crazy building, and then during the day kind of attend to all of the commuters' needs, make sure you, you know, signal and let all the trains come back, that type of thing, and then uh, do it again. So find out where your shortcomings were, where you can make improvements. Oh, God, there's the rat. Rose, I need you over here. Rose, come over here with the... Is she automatic? Rose, come on over here, if you would, and pick that rat up. Code 5, Sector 3. Okay, what do we got here? Commerce. We can actually build some cool stuff. Ooh, a chicken shop. Yes. Oh, man, that is awesome. You may have a power generator low on fuel. Without power, everything will cease to function. All right, Phillips seems like he's back on his feet. Good job, Phillips. Let's get that generator back up and running. And, uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got a problem. We got one of our trains broken. All right, let's get... Uh, who's good at repair? Phillips, were you good at repair? I can't remember. Can you repair that? Probably not without a repair kit. Let's see, what do we got here? Level 1 toolkit. That might be good for the trains. Phillips, I'm going to need you to uh, head over here. Grab that toolkit. I think you're our best repairman right now. Uh, let's see. Staff is carrying more than one tool. You can set them priorities. Except, yep. That's fine. He's actually carrying two things. All right. Well, we need to get this train up and running. Looks like he's automatically assigned to do that. Let's go ahead and repair that train. Okay. Let's hire some more staff, too, and get a few more litter pickers out there. So, back to tools... 
Let's go with uh, two more of these. Ah, heck, let's make it three because they're very important. And let's hire some more staff members. So let's go with staff, applicants. Uh, let's see. Anybody like 50% or higher will go for refuse. Um, I guess these are the next closest applicants. Let's hire one more for just trash. For now, anyway. Alright, Watson. Go ahead and grab one of those. Reed. Trash duty and Mills. Trash duty. Cool, they started the entrance to the station and they come over. <laughs> Ma'am, no crying. I don't. I definitely don't want my staff to be seen crying. That's annoying. Can't you guys just go on break? Can I schedule a break for them? Station reputation is a 9%er now. Mostly because our stations, our train is probably broken, so what can you do about that? Alright, let's see. So our goal is to maintain the station, and I suppose that the station, uh, the train breaks down to the station, that's our responsibility. Look at all those people coming down. That's great. Come on down, it's like, uh, oh, there we go, there, there, there goes the train, perfect. Good job, Phillips. That's a, that's, that, that's a break for you. Come on over. Alright, Watson, let's get you out on trash duty. I think if you click here, that that's the maybe that's their patrol area. If you have them do that. Also, how do I get rid of rat poison once it's down? Oh, rush hour is over, boy. We're gonna need some more trains than this. Now I think we can make longer trains by making a longer station. So if I extend our station up this way, we might be able to do more. And the same over here too. Or maybe we can build another platform for it. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So they're still telling us to configure our signage. Reed, I don't know how you got over there. Come on over here, please. I'll have to make a way for you to get through. Let's edit the floor. And since I'm not aware just at the moment of how to make a staff-only area, or at least how to delete one, I'm going to make that staff-only. So, Reed, come on over. You should be able to find your way through here. And let's get you up to one of those uh, pickers, if you will. Mills, I need you on a patrol. And Reed, I need you out on one of the pickers, please. Okay, very good. Oh, and our reputation is increasing. Another train. So that's really what we got to worry about. So daytime is more for function, and nighttime is more for building. And that's kind of interesting that you have to worry about all that stuff. All right, Philip and Rose are coming on out. All right, very good. Well, we haven't even really spent that much money. We're down to only uh, 4.6 million, or 4.6... Uh, it may as well be a million, actually. We've made quite a bit of... Uh, we've spent quite a bit of money. Feels like millions of dollars. And everything's working good so far. Everybody's late. Speed up the route on platform. Call trains more or build platform indicator to limit reputation loss. Well, we did build those. And what else does it say for that? Um, call trains more. I guess that just means be more f efficient in calling the trains? I don't think there's really a way to call trains more than there is to... Uh, just make sure that they arrive on time. Alright, so now we got 12 people that can board this train and so on and so forth. People seem to make a mad rush to it. Also, this is still smoking after it's been repaired, so that must be a, gl a graphical glitch from the previous uh, build or something like that. 140 people in the station. That's a tremendous amount of people. That's crazy. Alright, I think we should get ready to build our second train line. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can try to squeeze that in there. That's going to have to come here. And if we build that, I'm going to have to have a... Where, where did the uh, tracks for that go? They seem to have vanished. Unless they're underneath the wall there and I can't see it because I built it across. Oh, platform one's ready to go again. Oh, and there goes the... Everybody's leaving for the night. Okay. So now we can get started here. Oh, look at that. You can actually have focus on certain things. That's helpful. Okay, let's edit the floor now. So we want to rebuild this floor here. If I can. There we go. Okay. And let's see if we can order the train through here. And let's buy another platform then. So infrastructure, platform times four. There's our reputation from the other day. Not bad. I, things are getting... Wow, the escalator bringing in a ton of reputation. Just for, for standing on an uh, elevator for three minutes. Okay. All right. So track has a gap or collides with existing concourse or rooms. That's the problem. Shouldn't collide with a room. I can see it actually cutting right through here. It comes close to a room, but doesn't collide with anything. 
And we should have a platform on either side. That might be because it goes down the corridor forever. So let's try to fix this. By limiting uh, the size of this room. Yep, we got that going. That should be fine. Hmm, that might be it because it cuts through here. I might need to make a walking platform to go over the top. But the uh, rail should be allowed to be built. But that's our first little hiccup then, so I'll need to kind of reconfigure this area. I could probably just build a uh, walkway to come in through over this way. Actually, we could build a door here, a door here, and then a door here. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. So we'll just get rid of this corridor when the time comes. All right, it is now nighttime. All of our staff, I guess, stay around when they're done. That's interesting. Go home, losers. All right, let's see what else we got. Crime desk. Let's put down some uh, amenities. I'd like to put down, or rather, commerce. Oh, there we go. We got crisp machines. So we could probably put those inside this area. Make a little bit of cash. There we go. Uh, what is that? A kiosk? Was that for money? Oh, it's candy and stuff. Uh, okay, I, I see. I thought it was just an area for them to trade for tickets. Do we have a ticket counter? Uh, let's see. A newspaper, billboard, hot dog stand. Oh, here we are. Cash machine. Perfect. So that's like an ATM. Yep, ATM for everybody. So it might be good to put one of those in the corner, too. Alright. So let's see. Oh, a chicken shop. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We got to build a couple of these things. So let's build on this side, then, um, some food. Actually, we could squeeze it in right there. Perfect. The chubby chicken. Come on down to the chubby chicken. What do, what do we got over here? Oh, newspaper billboard. Oh, okay. That's just like uh, ads and such. Okay, good. And then a hot dog stand is a little smaller. We could probably squeeze that in down here somewhere. Now let's see how much money we can get from food. I want to... Oh, coffee cart. So the biggest thing we can build is the chicken shop. Flower stall. So some of these are just very, very small compared to uh, the chicken shop. Newspaper stand is very small. Okay, so we want to build some things inside here then. Just for our passengers. I, In retrospect, I, I want an option in the game to actually uh, adjust where the train tracks come in. It's cool to build a, a track around the station... Uh, or rather, a station around the tracks, but it would be cool as well to just say, hey, on this one, let's make this one two lower or something like that. So that way, um, you can change your plan on the fly if you want to. Wow, you can see all the extra space that we have. I made this as big as possible. This is the biggest map that you can make in the game. So pretty good, I, I must say. So uh, it looks like some of our employees need water. Are they automatically going to... Okay, they're not automatically going to, like, grab some water or something like that. It'd be nice if we could have some drinking fountains around. Oh, yeah, we have two new applicants. Cool. Power's good, and everybody's coming back for our third day. Let's see how the uh, chicken shop does. Oh, there's arcade machine. Oh, is that for the staff? Okay, let's build a little arcade machine, too, just to see everything here. Now, I would like to uh, continue on with this playthrough or start a new one based off of our, um, you know, just lessons learned from this kind of first episode. Really not too much going on here, um, negative or anything like that. I, we just need to build our second track. That would be a, an important thing. But other than that, everything seems to be going really well. And uh, we've got this automatically staffed here. So this chicken shop is just basically, uh, yeah, just chicken and, and chips there, which is very nice. I like that a lot. And then, of course, hot dog stands. Just some generic stuff. So I'm really excited to see what I can build in the, in the coming episodes here. So let's try another coffee. Let's do a coffee shop over here. Let's try this. For you, coffee. Let's try a flower stall, maybe over here in the corner. On this side. There's, wow, that's just like a shady business. It's all just on the... Uh-oh, we got a vandal. The miscreants have no respect for the temple or transit. That is your station. Oh, boy. They'll attack the facilities, reducing their condition, or break or destroy them. All right, let's see if we can hire some security staff. Or actually put up closed caption televisions. And let's try a control room. All right, let's try a control room. We'll build that over here. There we go. Let's see how that works. So let's try to put down closed caption television. Oh, there's the there's the troublemaker right there. Oh, it looks like they just hang from the ceiling. Okay, they don't. I thought they'd have to go on the wall. All right, we got an eye on the troublemaker. Oh. 
Wow, she just punched one of the machines and it broke it broke down. Great. All right, Phillips, you're on it. We got a troublemaker. Code code seven, sector eight, B. Wow, you're a big pain, ma'am. All right, let's see if we can arrest her somehow. What what do we got for staff? Anybody who is like security repair? Oh, security. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, ten. We could probably train our staff too. Yeah, rar rar. Let's hire this person. Who is that? Uh, oh, I don't know who the. Per oh, it's another Rose. Okay, let's hire a new. Jesus, everybody's just screeching. What's going on? All right, sorry, I got so distracted, I forgot about the whole train function. Jeez, I'm trying to deal with this one troublemaker. Well, at least Phillips is smart enough. Okay, so a lot of the staff are smart enough to do their own thing. So that's good. People are coming off the trains. This is really fun. So during the day, it's more of like a like a, a bonus round, like a lightning round. You got to go real quick to like get everyone off and on and off and on the trains. But at nighttime, that's when you want to do your building. So then you can pause that and do all your restaffing and things like that. But then again, you're gonna want to watch out for people like, oh my god, this person is just knocking everybody out. Where's where's the security? Rose, we gotta deal with that person. What can, what can I build? Oh my, oh wow, we gotta take him down. We gotta get a taser. That's what it is. We got tase. We need someone to be tased. All right, let's hold on. Let's grab the taser. This person's gotta go down. Rose, Rose, I need you over here. Grab that level one taser. We gotta get rid of this person. They're going insane. They've broken two machines and they're knocking people out in the entryway. And they're punching trash cans. Rose, we got we got a code code seventeen. Where are you? New Rose, where are you? There you are. Okay, there's the uh, aggressor right there. This woman has gone insane. Let's speed up time. Grab that taser. Go, go, go. Gonna need to get this person tased. Alright, now let's go over this way. And let's see if we can get this person ta co tased. Tase him! We need you tased. Come over here, tase this person. I'm trying to tase him. Are you going, Rose? She's, she's sitting over there. Oh, this person's only being head, held back by a glass barrier. It's only a matter of time until Godzilla breaks through. All right, here we go. Let's slow down time. Ma'am? All right, tase. Taser. Ma'am? Choking. What the hell? Yeah, ta taser. There. Okay, I think we got her. And she's arrested now. Look at There she is. And she's, she's now walking herself to jail. <laughs> okay. That's great. I have been tased. I will now walk to jail. Like, okay. Are you? Did you buy a ticket to walk to jail? Wow, look at this. After a day of uh, committing crimes, now she's just walking to jail. Okay, well that was easy. Good. Unfortunately, the smoking still stays. Sorry, we were. Uh, sorry, po po folks on the train. I was busy trying to deal with somebody with a taser. This game is great. A lot of character here. All right, I just want to see the train system change a little bit. So since we're in early access, I'd like the developers to uh, make it a little easier to build. Um, metro lines or something like that and, and they go straight through so it'd be nice perhaps if there was a curved one like if this one had a station here and then curved uh, to the right side like that we could build all this area here and not have to worry about blocking the train that kind of thing just it would just add to the features all right our reputation is horrible but that's because I've mostly been focused on building stuff rather than servicing the uh, people well, oh that was a minus one seems like we get a lot of our reputation back from the uh, escalators so that's good and it looks like the ticket machines are incredibly busy. People love those things. Yeah, so it's just a timed event. Hit that button before you're done. All right, well, let's see. Air purifiers. I don't know how we are in heat. Let's take a look. Looks like most areas are okay, so we don't have to worry about that too much. So that's all right. Battery capacitors. Oh, that's another thing we could build. The capacitor, of course, will make it so that way we don't need to uh, charge the... Uh, uh, generators all the time it gives us a little extra time to work with our staff so of course keeping things cool is awesome we got a defibrillator here that might be good for our medical staff so let's get a defibrillator out let's get a drip out I guess if somebody becomes rip wow yeah I guess me metros do need these types of things you never know first aid too for some of those people who were attacked by that crazy woman and oh this is it rat what is this rodents will infest a dirty station scaring commuters and Annihilate them with this kit. Is this a cat? What is that? Oh, it's like a poison sprayer. Or a taser or something like that. It looks like a giant battery. I don't know. 
I wish we could pick up this rat poison now. So we'll need to learn in the game, like, how do we get rid of uh, rat poison that's laying around, that type of thing. But just genius. I'm loving this. And I can't wait to do, you know, like a big station. Like, try three or four uh, station lines and see everything function. This is really, really basic. But this is really, really cool. And I think our reputation is going to continue to increase as we provide more services to our people. Uh, Barut has entered your station. These irredeemable hooligans are at indiscriminately attack commuters and staff alike. Uh-oh. All right, well, we're going to need to bring sweet retribution by tasing them as well. Rose, get the taser. And Mom, get the camera, because we're going to have to take somebody down. Oh, okay, we got to wait till they strike. So you can't tase them just because they're uh, a little aggro. you got to wait until they hit somebody. Okay, what does it say any information? This, oh, there we go. Ma'am? Okay, she just, like, hit somebody in the face for no reason. Where is that? Where is that taser? Rose, where are you at? Oh, you're right there. Oh, God, they got their blood. Oh, they're leaving already. Oh, never mind. We won't be able to arrest them. It's the end of the day. Everybody has to go home. Even the brutes uh, follow that rule. Cool. So every time this happens, it's like beating another level. And then you get to unlock more and more of your station. So it's a little... It's part simulator and part, like, mini game Where you gotta, like, quickly send trains in and out, get your reputation up. I'm not too worried about the reputation. I just wanted to see the potential of the game. And I think the potential is good. So... That concludes our first look for this game. If you folks want me to start a new playthrough series of a Grand Central subway station, just scream for it down below in the comment section and make sure you support this video. We could start fresh or we can continue with this one. I think we should start new personally and use all the lessons that we've learned in a whole new big station. But you let me know what you want to see. This game's got a lot of character and it's very cool. I've enjoyed it so far. So if you want to see more, you know what to do. I will see you all next time. You guys are fantastic. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everybody. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.